Hi everybody, I'm Richard with GunsHolstersAndGear.com and today I'm here to talk to you about the CAR CM9. CAR CM9 is a subcompact 9mm pistol, very small, very compact, uh, a little larger than maybe the size of the average hand. It is only uh, 0.9 inches thick at the widest point. Even though it is uh, so small, it uh, holds six in the magazine plus one more in the chamber for a total of seven rounds on tap. It uh, is less than a pound unloaded with the magazine. Uh, so we're talking about something that would be very good as either pocket carry, uh, ankle carry, maybe as a backup gun on a police officer's vest, or even as a uh, primary duty carry, or excuse me, primary uh, concealed carry in, in, inside the waistband holster, um, maybe off-body carry in a purse or a safe packer or something like that. The uh, CM9 actually, it comes with a single flush mount magazine that holds six, but it also will take a uh, extended seven round magazine, as you can see that I have here. Locks in there just like the uh, regular flush mount, but it actually gives you a little more length here, allowing your pinky to hold on to it. Um, as far as shooting, I do prefer to have the extended magazine, but quite frankly, either one is very comfortable to shoot. 9mm doesn't have a lot of recoil to start with, um, so when you're dealing with a smaller pistol, it's a little easier to shoot than, say, a 40 or, or a 357 Magnum. The extended magazine, it's a little easier to shoot, gives it a length a little closer to, like, the CW9. Um, but with the flush mount magazine, it's still very controllable, very easy to shoot. You get a solid two fingers, the pinky kind of wraps around underneath, and you still have a very good, uh, very good grip on it. Um, shooting this with the flush mount magazine, accuracy was very good. Uh, the sights on the CM9, uh, typical for what the cars have. Generally, they have the uh, post with the front or with a white dot up front, and then the uh, rear notch with the bar back here. Sights are very good. They line up easily. They points very well. No problems with accuracy whatsoever. Uh, at 15 yards, you're holding uh, all of your shots in center mass area. Seven yards or so, it, it tightens up very nicely. Uh, I shot this pistol with a variety of ammunition, uh, a variety of ball, Winchester and Remington ball, uh, some Federal American Eagle in there. All of it shot and fed 100% reliably. Also shot a, a variety of self-defense ammo that I have here on hand. Some of the Winchester PDX 147 grain, uh, that shot extremely well. Uh, the Federal HST, um, Spear Gold Dot, all of it shot 100% reliably, all of it shot very well. One of the uh, kind of more interesting loads that uh, I found with this particular firearm is I have a quantity of inexpensive Remington jacketed hollow points, the 115 grain, just the plain black, or excuse me, green and white box stuff uh, that I think you can pick up at Walmart, 100 round boxes, uh, I think about $35 or so. It's a jacketed hollow point. I didn't have a chance to uh, run it across a chronograph with this pistol, but in the past with the uh, Glock 19, which has a little bit of a longer barrel uh, than this car's 3 inch barrel. Uh, Glock 19, it was doing about 1,100 feet per second, which isn't too bad for standard pressure 9. Um, with this, I would expect something probably along the lines of 1025, maybe a touch uh, uh, faster than that. And that's for a hollow point round, so if you're in a uh, position where money is a little tight, it's something to look at, because that, at that price, it's almost at uh, ball ammunition uh, practice round prices but you can get 100 rounds of it, reasonably priced, you can put enough through it to make sure that it in fact functions reliably, and you can carry it's a decent hollow point, it's just a standard hollow point, there's no the fancy engineering, um, so it's going to rely a lot on, on speed to make it open up and everything. It's not a, bad, uh, not a bad choice if money's a little tight. I found that round to be very, very accurate out of this pistol. Muzzle flash a little bit more than some of the self-defense loads that are out there, but it's no big deal. Uh, shooting at the range indoors and outdoors, you could tell there's a little bit more muzzle flash, but it wasn't bad. So that's just an option that's out there. Um, the CM9 is from their budget line. 
Uh, as you know, Carr has some, uh, some of the uh, nicer pistols, and then they also have some of their budget line. And there's just some small differences, uh, things that a lot of people aren't going to notice. Uh, for example, your slide stop is going to be a VIM part rather than a machine part. Um, your sights are going to be uh, fixed up here rather than dovetailed in. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a different engraving rather than the roll markings and whatnot. Um, the barrel is going to be conventional uh, rifling in there instead of the uh, uh, other uh, uh, plagonal that normally car does. Uh, but it's a very accurate pistol. I found that it was 100% reliable. This really is going to fit well into uh, my firearms uh, uh, inventory. This is one that Carr did send me as a test and evaluation model, but I'm telling you right now, this one's staying with me. I'm sending them a check. I'm not sending them this gun back. I like this a lot. This is going to work out great for me, both in concealed carry and as a backup piece on duty in, in my uh, law enforcement job. So I really like this car. It's the car CM9. Retail price is about five seventeen. You can probably get it. Uh, I've seen it on GunBroker going for about four twenty five at some of the places. So below four hundred and fifty dollars, you can get this pistol. It's a great pistol. I highly recommend it. The car CM9. Check out the full review at GunsHolstersAndGear.com. Have a safe day.